pero días también en que a pasos vertiginosos avanza el conocimiento científico. When we recreated the images into 360 degree virtual reality, it became obvious very quickly that there's such a stark contrast between the virus infected abnormal lung and the more healthy adjacent lung tissue. And it's such a contrast that you do not need an MD after your name to understand these images. This is something that the general public can take a look at and really start to comprehend how severe the amount of damage that this is causing to the lung tissue. The damage that we're seeing is not isolated to any one part of the lung. This is severe damage to both lungs diffusely. I wanted to get this message out and get the get this picture out to the public so that people who so far have not been heeding the warning of public health professionals can perhaps see these images and see the destruction that is uh, being caused in the lungs. Hopefully the public can see these images and really start to understand why this is so serious and how this virus really is not discriminating. Uh, amongst various people, how it is really starting to affect people of all different ages. Es un video de la Universidad George Washington, Estados Unidos, con sólido fundamento científico. ¿Para qué lo hace? Para generar conciencia, para que nadie ya, si es que todavía hay algunas personas, aquí hemos visto que en México todavía hay algunas personas que siguen tomando la pandemia a la ligera.